Yes, um, Kinetic Design, as you know, we've applied to all our portfolio now. That was the Mondeo, the Cougar, the Fiesta is a very exciting car. And I have to say that applying Kinetic Design to a family vehicle was the biggest challenge that I and my design team had. But I think we've been successful. Um, this is a family vehicle which you'll buy not only because it's practical, but also because it's a great looking car. IOSIS Max, which we introduced in Geneva in 2009, was intended to show how all the new kinetic design elements would be applied to the new C car portfolio. It was not the new C Max as such, and it was not the new Ford Focus. It was somewhere in between. But if you look at the concept car, you will realize that all the design elements of the concept car have now been applied to the C-MAX, especially in the front area, these very, very bold graphics. A lot of the elements of the shape of the vehicle, this very coupe-like profile, and also those elements are applied to the new Ford Focus. The Ford Focus is a lower car than the current car, and this car is a slightly higher car than the IOSIS MAX, so IOSIS MAX really showed, gave you an outlook on all the elements of the new portfolio. And that's, that's very interesting as a question because we realized from our customer research that there was an opportunity to expand the C-MAX into two different body styles and that's because we had two different target customers. Now the C-MAX here is actually targeted at a slightly older couple where the children have possibly left the house, um, that they still lead a very active lifestyle, they want a car which is easy to get into but also very stylish and take the children, the grandchildren and friends when they need to. But with the, C, with the Grand C-Max, the customer is different. This is a young family who have two or three children, and they want the space and the practicality and the, and the variability of, 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 of the, of the seven-seater mode. Now, the cars are actually common up to the B-pillar, but the difference in requirements for the customer are expressed in the rear of the car. So the C-Max here has this coupe, very sleek and elegant profile. And the customer for the Grand C-Max, they wanted to have space which they could see, large windows, a lot of glass for safety, and a lot of roominess which they could actually see from the outside. Well, the inspiration is kinetic design as ever. We, would, we wanted to translate the very expressive forms in the exterior of the car into the interior. I believe that the interior of any vehicle should match the exterior in terms of its design language. Now, the key to the interior of this vehicle is indeed those very dr dramatic, dynamic forms in the instrument panel, very slim shape to the instrument panel, where we have the HMI, the human machine interface, or the operating surface, separated from the screen and separated from electronics. So that allows you to take your hands from the steering wheel and in a very, very convenient position, operate your navigation, operate the radio, telephone, all those elements in the center console. And that is unique to Ford. Most other manufacturers still have a radio box, which we call the DIN box, which is plugged into the center console. This arrangement allows us complete freedom of form and, and design, and this very flowing center console design. Well, obviously, also, not only in the exterior area of design, but also in interior, we want to create a family of modern vehicles, all designed using kinetic design. And if you look at the Fiesta interior, you'll see that the configuration of the interior and also the center console was the first time that we made this departure, this very new and radical look. And we've developed that look now into the C-Max here. So th those elements of Fiesta, in terms of the form, the center console, the HMI operation, they're all evident here again in this vehicle. And if you think about the new Focus, which we showed in Detroit and also in Geneva this year, that is a much more driver-focused car. The instrument panel actually wraps around the driver. He's sitting lower. And so the emphasis on, is on a cockpit, whereas the emphasis on this vehicle is on a design for the family, accessible for both the driver and also the passenger.